Hey guys, Bigster42, welcome to the newest series coming to this channel. It's another Nickelodeon game, so... Options are shortened. Or what it could be is more obvious, bleh. Okay, fuck it, it's, Nickel it's Nicktoons Unite, fuck it. So yeah, this is another game I grew up with when I was little, similar to Jimmy Neutron and Attack of the Twonkies. But it's, it plays differently enough. Like, it's an, it's, a, it's another platformer, but you don't go around sucking up fucking fur balls. Instead, you're going around into different Nickelodeon worlds, trying to stop a bunch of villains who I don't really see working together. Oh, well. So basically, Dr. Calamitous brought together the most, the worstest supervillains in the history of the world. Which is apparently Plankton, Dr. Crocker, and Vlad. I don't really believe it, but... Whatever. And then Jimmy Neutron recruited his own super team of Danny Phantom, Jimmy Turner, and SpongeBob SquarePants. Not exactly my first up, not exactly my first choice to do, but whatever. I'm ready! Okay, that was probably annoying, but whatever. So basically, this game is split up into four different worlds, each of them with three stages, so two stages and a boss. I am completely anti reading this, but oh well. So yeah, each, each world is split up into two stages and a boss fight at the end of the world. So yeah, this is the game. It looks... okay. It looks... it looks kind of awkward, all things considered, but that's probably just because it was meant to be viewed on a smaller screen. But even then, there's, there's better sprite quality on the GBA. Like, Mother 3, for example, but then again, this was... This is a third-party game, so what can I say? Oh, this wasn't- this wasn't even, a, like, a well-known third-party thing, so... Why am I complaining? Oh, well. Let's just go over here... Enemy is using these portals that you can't see because of the camera to enter the world! There are three that destroy in each level! So, yeah. These are the portals. For some odd reason, Jimmy turn- Fuck, Jimmy Neutron has an incredibly easy time destroying these enemies for whatever reason, because usually... When he shoots an enemy, they just kind of freeze like that, but these enemies die instantly for whatever reason. So yeah. They're basically the ghost zone portals from the show, or from Danny Phantom's show. Even though they aren't always used for ghosts, which is kind of weird. Press the L button to instantly switch between the two characters, because you can't figure that out, because there's only like four buttons on the Game Boy Advance anyway. Six buttons, rather, excuse me. I'm not counting the D-pad, but whatever. Click four nano chips to activate the end of the world, end of the level transporter. So yeah, you basically need to destroy all three portals and all four. Or you need to collect all four nano chips. Why do you need collect to collect four nano chips? Because fuck you, that's why. So yeah, if you miss even one of these, then your ass is grass. You have to backtrack throughout the entire stage, and that actually happened in an earlier attempt at this, which is why I scrapped it. Other than the fact that I just didn't really like how it went. So yeah, there's another portal right up here. Danny Phantom probably has the worst... Well, him and Spongebob probably has the, have the worst time doing this just because... They don't really have much to them. Like, Danny Phantom, he can go through that wall there. That's all he can do that's special. Spongebob can slip through cracks. Or slip through tiny passageways that other people can't. And arguably, I would say Spongebob's more useful than Danny Phantom in some of these stages just because he's... I think he's I'm not sure who's used more often, but whatever. At Danny Phantom, he can have some more interesting puzzles, I think, or his puzzles can be more interesting just because I don't know. I I, th I thought I had a point there, but I didn't have a point, so whatever. Also, I just remember we have to switch our characters. We need SpongeBob, Jimmy Neutron's transport device used to switch characters. So yeah. Let's just switch over to Spongebob. I'll probably be trying to keep at least one character from their respective world in at all times, just to... I don't know, just to try. Just for something to do. What a tiny hole! That's what she sped! I wonder if... That's what she sped? That's what she said! I wonder if Spongebob can slip through it. I'm just, I'm just remembering, like, the anime in short, where it's just like... Spongebob is an absorbent sponge in Bikini Bottom. Champon! Uh, probably no one here knows what the hell Animeme is. Or if they do, they probably think it's the cancer of the internet, because God knows it's totally the worst thing out there. There aren't, like, 
five Let's Play channels that are ten times worse than it, or have so, or have five times less effort. Oh well. I won't get into Let's Play stuff because really, why, why start an argument in the comments? Because who wants to see the internet more hateful than it already is? Also, that I jump there. Yeah, jumping in, the jumping in this game just kind of feels off because it, it doesn't. It's not really satisfying to jump around because there's not. It doesn't make any sound when you jump, and the double jump just kind of feels like you're floating. So yeah, we're getting towards the end of the stage. Let's go. Wee. So yeah, Jimmy Neutron, as I said earlier, he has an easy enough time doing this. I think you have to shoot the portal in order to get it to start shooting stuff out, but I don't know. Basically just sit here and shoot until they're dead. But Jimmy and, uh, fucking... Uh, Timmy Turner have the easiest time with these because they can destroy the enemies easily enough. Or at least, Timmy Turner has an easy... Pr Timmy Turner is probably the best character in the game just because he can deal with enemies really quickly, even though... He his attack's really short range, but he can deal with enemies really easily. Stay on the pressure pad to open the door, press the L button to switch characters. So basically this is the game's excuse- This is the game's way of saying, hey, don't get too far apart now, you don't want to get lost. And then the phone. And you totally didn't hear that. There totally wasn't someone on the phone who called me because they're at work. This is a disadvantage of being a 15 year old in a house full of people. Or tis, tis the disadvantage of being in a house without people in it because they're all outside and working and whatnot. Oh well. So that's the end of the level. How much you want to bet that Paws and Camtasia probably desync desync everything? Oh well. So we're going to the Phantom Lab now just because why not? Vlad's channeling ectoplasm to the Doomsday device. We need to close the ghost zone. What about the ghost animal thingies? I don't believe in ghosts, even though I just went through an entire fucking stage full of ghosts, because I'm Jimmy Neutron and I'm smarter than you. So yeah, I wonder if Timmy Turner can float all the way up to the top with his balloons. Yeah, it's another thing that makes Timmy Turner probably one of the most useful characters, is, is because he can fly. Even though, I mean, even though Jimmy Neutron can fly too, he can't exactly kill enemies. But Timmy Turner can. As Jimmy Neutron, all he can do is freeze them, or with the exception of the the ghost zone enemies. I still don't know why they use the ghost zone for all the different things, because... The ghost zone, they still use the ghost zone portals for all the other stages, but they don't have ghosts coming out of them. Like, in later stages, they have jellyfish and robots coming out of them, which is... weird. Also, I don't know why he's shooting turbo, but whatever. He was shooting, like, three bullets at once. Oh well. I don't know why we're in the Phantom Lab. I don't know what this has to do with anything, but whatever. Also, I'd just like to point out, whenever the game has a cutscene going on, you can still jump. That's expert programming right there. Oh well. This, this game isn't bad, it's just kind of mediocre. I think it's, it's fun for what it is, but I wouldn't write home about it. Now this is the stage in the last recording I actually... I missed a nano chip on because I was an unattentive douche or dick. I was an unattentive stoop. There we go. That's a that's a proper adjective. The hallways was completely useless. Huzzah. Okay, what's up? I feel like I missed something. I'm gonna go check just because I don't feel like going halfway through the stage and finding out I missed something important. That was the fucking nano chip I missed. Damn it. Yeah, cause it's like it's it's just like in its own little corner. Ah, uh, not today, game. Also, I want that heart. Can... There we go. Yeah, using the character's special ability like this also is a good way to get rid of the. It's a good way to detach from the character. Just because it's kind of annoying to separate, to separate otherwise. It's not as polished as like the Mario and Luigi system of getting rid of a character. Because then they, they have like specific points that they use just to get rid of the character. Like they have a, they have like little crevices that you send Luigi under or you send Mario through in order to get them apart. Oh well, I'm, I'm rambling at this point. I like Mario and Luigi way too much. Oh well, let's just continue onward. I think these are enemies from the, from the Danny Phantom show, I don't remember. 
Because it's been so long since I've actually watched Danny Phantom, even though it was pro it was probably my favorite of all of them. And it should have been your favorite too. Like Danny Fa Danny Phantom was the shit. Like it was up there with like fucking it was kind of like a Teen Titans for me. Like Teen Titans was another really good cartoon, and it kind of—I don't—it kind of it kinda reminded me of Danny Phantom just with how it's more action oriented. Although I'll probably—I'm not sure if I'd say Danny Phantom is on par with it, but it was a decent show. I don't remember either of the, either of them terribly well. I just remember that they were good. Oh yeah, I didn't destroy this. <laughs> Wait, what? Why are you sending out more enemies? I. Okay, I don't, I don't fucking know. I thought I got rid of them all, but okay. Hopefully I don't die here, but it's, it's not like dying really matters in this game, because you just go back to like a checkpoint. It doesn't, it, does, it doesn't even feel like you die, because there's no death animation. It's just like, oh, I teleported back to a checkpoint. And every single time you see like a little sparkle or something when you walk by, that's a checkpoint. Oh, jeez, your health is low. Yeah, unfor unfortunately, switching the characters out doesn't refill their health back up, but there's plenty of hearts around, and even then, dying isn't really that big a problem. <laughs> I don't know why there are electrical things in the Phantom Lab, but whatever. Uh, which way do I go first? Probably this way. Nothing in there of importance. I think there's a chip somewhere around here. Yeah, like right up here. If I can jump. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I have much better time on this one than the other one, because the other one I was like at 16 minutes at this point. Tis the advantage of having a fuck-up recording. You have practice. Yeah, Danny Phantom isn't exactly- Danny Phantom doesn't exactly have the best time destroying these things. It's just because if they fly at you, you're kind of fucked. In terms of not getting hit. Because look at that, they kind of just- they just go up and glomp you, essentially. Okay, so I, we're almost- we're close to the end of the stage, at the very least, just because we have all these items. Or, we're, we are, we have all this shit, like, we've destroyed two of the teleporters, and we've got three of the chips. So with any luck, it should be right over here. That's where the end should be. Don't get shocked, please, thank you. Oh, I thought there was stuff up there, never mind. Uh, there should be stuff up. I- I'm a stoop. Stop raising my hopes and then dashing them quite expertly. I don't know why I'm quoting that word for word, but whatever. Uh, where's the last transport, I wonder? Why did- I used all of my flight to get more flight! Yeah, that's totally a good payoff. That wasn't a weird game design decision. Okay, here's the last transport. Yeah, in the later stages, it gets a lot more difficult to keep track of all these things. Just because it's a, it's very easy to just miss one and then have to backtrack halfway through this stage. And in fact, that's what I had to do in the last recording of this, because I had to backtrack halfway through this. Oh well. I, I just didn't like how the past recording went, because it was just bored. It, it kind of just felt like I was bored with the entire thing, which is a bad habit of mine in these videos. So I'm going to try to keep that from happening. So anyway, we're all, we're close to the end of the stage. I can pretty much just jump through everything here. Because there's hearts right here, so it doesn't matter. Let me just hit this button. Yeah, this game has a lot of quote-unquote puzzles like that, where you just have to have one character go through a section of the stage. It's cool. I'm glad, I'm glad that they decided to do something with this mechanic and not just have it like, oh, you happen to have two characters with you, blah 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 blah. Yeah, that's kind of one of the problems I have with the later Mario and Luigi games, actually. It's just like, yeah, there's two of you, but there's no purpose to there being two of you. Like, in the later Mario and Luigi games, it's just like you can't separate from one another, so it's just like, why are there two of you? I don't know how I'm talking about Mario and Luigi in a fucking Nicktoons game, but whatever. Uh... I would, I would bring Timmy Turner here, but he's not that useful here just because of how the boss fight plays out. Because basically, he's always flying around, and he makes clones of himself, which is... odd. Like, he makes clones of himself, and you can't actually hurt him until the clone's gone, so... Because, I don't know, fucking substitute or something. Glad you substitute, it's not very effective, even though substitute's not an attack that hurts people. 
Curse you, Danny Phantom! I will return to defeat you! What a loser. Good job, team. So yeah, that was the video. So next time on Nicktoons Unite, we're gonna go do Spongebob's world. And I'll probably have a word or two to say about Spongebob during that, because... There's a lot to talk about with Spongebob. Uh, not most of it, not, most of it's not good, but... Oh well. See you guys then!